Hi everybody, it's Brad and Caleb from the Big Family Homestead and in today's video we are beginning a rain catchment system, a rainwater harvesting system for our run-in shed for our cow and so we are building a filter. So let's check this out. That's right, so today Caleb and I are beginning the uh, rain harvesting, rain catchment system for Harriet, our cow's run-in shed. And we've got it all planned out. We've got an IBC tank that we've got. We've got it cleaned out. But here's the thing. When that water is coming off of your roof, we have basically asphalt shingles. And so we don't want to give that straight to the cows or put it straight in the garden. So we are building a basic filter. It's like a four stage layer cake, really, of awesomeness that will clean out most. Now I say most of the impurities. This is not designed to be like one of those Berkey systems or a life straw or anything like that. This is a basic filter system that we're gonna put together so that it'll get most of the nasty wastiness out so that you're good to go for your animals. And if you were gonna consume it, you could always boil it and filter it, whatever. But this is going to be an economical, very easy, very, very, dare I say, fun, fun project. So here we go. So the first thing you're gonna need is a plan, to be honest. And I wanna show you what we're going to do or what our plan is. Basically, we've got the water that's gonna come off of this run-in shed. It's going to go through our filter, which we're gonna show you how to build today, into an IBC tote. Now, below that, we're gonna go ahead and put our animals basically watering kind of bucket thing. And we're making sure that there's enough space that we can get chicken waterers in here where we don't have to dunk it down in the water. And well, it's gonna be awesome and we'll show you, yeah. Now once you've got your design all planned out, it's time to start working on the filter. The four stages are as follows. The top level is going to be pea gravel. The second level down is going to be sand. Then we use activated charcoal, that is biochar. Then another layer of the pea gravel. First thing you're gonna need is a bucket, a five gallon bucket. Just like that one? Just like this one. And no, this is not a Rural King ad, it is not. Although I wish they were because if they were sponsors, well, we spend a lot of time at Rural King. You'll also need to cut a hole in your bucket to fit your fitting down in there. So that it goes like this, into the hole, and comes out there. You also need a screen, just like this one. Just like that one. The screen's gonna go into your fitting and out the bottom of the bucket. This is gonna keep your media, your filter media, from seeping through, oozing out, coming out of your filter. First things first, go ahead and get your pea gravel, and you only wanna put a little bit into the bucket, maybe an inch and a half-ish, and you're gonna start hosing it out and just shaking the stew out of it. Keep dumping the water out until it comes out clear. Now this could take you know, four or five times and you just gotta keep after it and have some patience, but keep after it and get that water clear. And after that, you're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing with your sand and then you're gonna do the same exact thing with your charcoal, your activated charcoal. Uh, and you're gonna do that till it just basically washes clean. Okay, so now that we've got everything all filtered out, now keep in mind this isn't gonna be perfect. You're gonna still have to run some water through this. This is just for the initial washing of your uh, filter media. So notice now that I've got my bucket up on a couple two by fours and that's because the, uh, the bottom screen was popping out of the bottom along with that, that uh, fitting so you don't want it just to pop right back through. But first things first, in goes your pea gravel, then in goes your charcoal, then in goes your sand, and finally on the top, some more pea gravel, and poof, done. So that's pretty much it. Basically, we're talking a simple, cheap, easy to do filter. And uh, so tomorrow the plan is to go ahead and get it affixed on top of our IBC tank, uh, get it all in position, get the gutters working right, and then we should be off to the races. And you know, most people don't hope for rain, but I kind of hope that we've got some rain in the forecast tomorrow so we can see this thing actually in action. I'm Kayla from the Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day. Yep. Oh my. 
That is one unusual and unique looking animal you constructed there, Claire. What is that thing? It's supposed to be a cow. Looks very Dali. 